soy Abija la narradora y es mi honor darles la bienvenida a ustedes a nuestra celebración de los tres reyes. Hello, I am Abija, the storyteller, and it is my great honor to welcome you to our Three Kings celebration. Today es un día de música, comida, and special gifts. Perhaps some of you have already left out your shoe boxes, tu caja de zapatos, verdad? No? Pues ustedes deberían. Do we all know why the children should leave out their shoe boxes? You see, los niños around the world fill their cajitas with grass and hay, yerba and agua for the camels to eat. Then, they slip those boxes under their beds y rápido se van a dormir. En la noche, the camel of los tres reyes might visit and eat the tree. While the three kings, los reyes, they had regalos, little gifts for the children. It's so exciting to wake up in the morning and find these special treasures, sorpresas, that remind us of gifts that were given to a very special child by three wise men many years ago. Of course, this is just one of many traditions to celebrate the arrival of los tres reyes. Who are the three kings? Perhaps you do not know the story. The tale of los tres reyes began in a distant past, in un lugar muy lejano. Imagínate, you're roaming the endless desert, traveling una noche filled with estrellas brillantes. Imagínate, you're in a very different than this, over 2,000 years ago. In those ancient times, three wise men traveled the desert on camel. Una noche, they saw una estrella misteriosa, a star unlike anything they'd ever seen before. La estrella guided them to a stable where they found a niño adorado. Overcome with joy, they bowed down and offered gifts to the child. Gaspar, the eldest and the king of India, brought riches of gold, oro. Mejor, the king of Persia, ofreció regalos de perfume, the gift of frankness. Baltasar, the king of Arabia, ofreció regalos de aceites, the special oils of myrrh to the child. Estos increíbles tesoros eran perfectos para un rey. Since la noche buena, we remember this moment in different ways. Por ejemplo, have any of you ever heard of a loaf of bread that's over a mile long? Anyone? Pues es cierto. In Mexico City, we bake la rosca de reyes, and it's over a mile long, and thousands of people can come and take a bite. Usually, though, rosca de reyes is baked at home, and inside is a little figurine. And if you're lucky enough to find the little figurine in your slice, well, then you have to make tamales for all of your friends and families on the day of candles, see? Yes? Yes! O si quieres, Puedes tirar una buena fiesta en su lugar. Just throw a big party. Throughout Latin America, in Spain, and all around the world, we celebrate according to our traditions. Let me ask something. ¿Dónde están mis boricuas? Pues en Puerto Rico, we have arroz con gandules. We have pasteles. We have pernil. singing songs of the season called Aguinaldos. Do you do these things? Ustedes hacen estas cosas? Yeah. Oh, it's wonderful, isn't it? Oh, there's music, 